both of these big fellas hunting a knockout. Zeke to MA Wiley actually comes in surprisingly at a disadvantage, at least in the leg reach. Long-legged Alex Nicholson, but 266 pounds. Zeke to MA Wiley had to cut to make the heavyweight limit. Not that often you see that anymore in mixed martial arts. Heavyweight action coming up, Lillian Garcia. Let's get it going. Next is an elimination bout in the heavyweight division, and it is brought to you by SeatGeek. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a striker, standing at 6'4", weighing in at 266 pounds. He has a professional record of three wins and two losses. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, here is Zeke Tui. Fighting out of the red corner. His background is in kickboxing. He stands at 6'4", weighing in at 238 pounds. In 21 professional bouts, he has a record of 13 victories and 8 defeats with 12 wins by knockout. Fighting out of Apaca, Florida, here is the Spartan, Alex Nicholson! Your referee in charge, Gary Copeland. Three big guys inside the PFL cage. Gary Copeland is our referee. Alex Nicholson in the blue trunks. Zeke Tourney Wiley in the silver. Round one, you ready red? Round one, you ready blue? Let's fight. Touch of the gloves, and we are underway. Our first heavyweight bout of the night here on ESPN2. Leg kick there from Alex Nicholson. Fends off Zeke Tourney Wiley with the side kick. Big right, right hand. hand. Most Samoan mixed martial artists are known for two things, having a good chin and big punches. Zeke Tuane Wiley, born in Hawaii, raised in Samoa and Hawaii. And the, you see the ghost of some abs there on Zeke Tuane Wiley? He told me that he started training at 350 pounds. He's all the way down to 266, but he cuts from about 285 to get there. Nice combination, and he ducks the spinning back fist from Alex Nicholson. He's been watching tape. That's what that tells me. Alex Nicholson is always looking to throw offense at you, so Tuane Wiley having watched tape is definitely going to keep him more, more prepared and more aware. Level change, a little shot by Tuane Wiley, which is a little surprising for a guy that really wants to stand and strike, but I think that's good. Keep those other levels of play open. Make the guy wonder what you're going to do. Yeah, he does like to stand and strike. But also remember, he remember he loves jujitsu. Remember he got choked out by a little guy, and he remember when he told us that. He, just, <laughs> he went to his happy. Place. He went to his happy. That left hand almost snuck through for, there for Zeke, Zeke to an A Wiley. He's relatively young in his mixed martial arts career. Only five fights in. Right hand lands and an uppercut lands for Zeke, testing the chin of Alex the Spartan Nicholson. And what I don't like is when they get into these close exchanges, I see Alex Nicholson's chin come up quite a bit. That's dangerous against a guy like Tuane Wiley. Zeke feeling a little confidence here, letting the hands come down a little bit to that boxer stance. This little shovel uppercut and, and left by Alex Nicholson. Nicholson said he feels he's the better striker. He wants to pick him apart. Look like he's setting up a turning back here. One thing when we repeatedly mentioned the size difference in this fight that Zeke mentioned is the fact that he's been carrying this weight for a long time. In fact, this is a reduced weight for him. Left hand sneaks through for Tuane Wiley, but he thinks that maybe Alex Nicholson will wear down because he's not used to carrying the bulk that he's had to add for this season. Nicholson said he feels like Tuane Wiley feel, uh, looked at the first tape and probably thinks he's going to get tired. Nicholson said he got tired in that last fight because his rib hampered his ability to breathe throughout the fight. Said his rib is 100% tonight, and he, he won't get tired tonight. Double right hand there from Tune Wiley. Oh, big shot to the gut. Well, he felt that. Tune Wiley's playing it off well, but he felt that. Breathing out. Back to 
Sparta. <laughs> right hand stuck through and it was a matter of formality after that Alex Nicholson taking out the much larger Zeke Tourne Wiley. Love the sportsmanship, great sportsmanship by both these guys. We call that a quick six here in the professional fighters league. How did he set it up, Reed? He set it up with his body kick. Look at that. That landed clean, and Tuane Wiley felt it. He tried to hide it, tried to show that he wasn't hurt, but Alex wasn't buying it. He came in, followed up with his big right hand. That put Tuane Wiley on his butt, and he just jumped on him with some big hammer fist and got the ref to step in there and call it. We'll make it official when we return on ESPN2. Welcome back to Atlantic City, New Jersey. Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, and Eve Edwards. And those are our Cajunomics final fight stats. Alex Nicholson securing a playoff spot with a quick six. First round knockout over Zeke, two and a Wiley. And the ground strikes were what finished it off. Lillian's got the official call inside of our BFLK. Ladies and gentlemen, the stoppage comes officially at three minutes and seven seconds into round number one. Your winner by TKO, earning six points in the heavyweight division and clinching a spot in the playoffs, Alex Nicholson! You'll be right back, bro. The Spartan Alex Nicholson with that quick six, currently sitting there in second place. Dennis Goldsoff, you'll see him later on this evening here on ESPN2. He's in the first spot. Kelvin Tiller, who's fighting against Dennis Goldsoff, also possessing six points. He's sitting at number three right now. Every other heavyweight either searching for points or hanging on to three. Caroline Pierce is inside the PFL Smart Cage with our winner. Thank you, Sean. I'm here with Alex Nicholson. Maximum of six points in that win or go home, si home situation. He landed the body kick, followed up with the big right hand. Talk us through that finish. Big tough guy. I just stayed composed and did what I had to do. I did what me and Coach Roger have been working on. And all the people, my sparring partners back at Fusion XL. Odin, boy! I know you're watching, baby boy. Give it a bop, bop, bop for your daddy, bro. I'm coming home to play with you. We got some money to spend. And we're going to Vegas for Halloween. I'm sure he's watching and he's super proud of you. You knew that Zeke would be a tough guy. 21.3 miles per hour, though, was your punch. Let's talk about that punch. I got speed, I got power, I have athleticism, and all it looks great. The ref, the ref could have stopped it, to be quite honest. I didn't have to do all that extra, but that's his fault. Well, you said you wanted to come in here and teach the rookie a lesson, but I know you have a lot of respect for Zeke. It's all love, man. He's a rookie and I'm a vet. <laughs> you guys know the rest of the lyrics. Well, it's always exciting when the Spartan steps into the cage. Best of luck now going into the playoffs. Congratulations. Yeah, God bless. And I've been where Zeke is. It's not fun, but it's part of the game. He'll learn and grow. God bless that man. Back to you, Sean. Alex Nicholson. Thank you, Caroline. More light heavyweight action when we return. Woo! Knockouts on ESPN2. Yeah. Get ready. Uh-huh. Listen. What you want to do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Be timid, that ain't cool. Nah.